Hello everyone, I'm Grey Cloak, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 207 of Factorio with the Z-Block mod, where we have now taken care of our fluoric wastewater, at least up to the point that we are producing calcium chloride, or whatever this, calcium sulfate, sorry, from it. And I just noticed that this is stuck. But only on that side. At least I think so. Yes, good. And now we need to actually process all this calcium sulfate. And we are just going to get rid of it basically. So use a lot of machines to transform it and then put it into the air or into the ground or whatever. So we make it into lime first. I guess this should be made into sulfuric acid first of all though we are full on that anyway but it still seems like a waste to just flare stack this so we want this processed further and into an output i'm just trying to figure out how we would want to lay out all of this so i think i would like these chemical plants to be at the end here I'm planning it on this side because it's going to be a very long setup with 46 of these air filters. I don't want that over here. I don't think at least. So we're just trying to start it here first. And we need 10 of these. So 5 on each side. Not that. This. And we need purified water from that or for that we also need purified water for this and we do not get any purified water anywhere okay so that is okay i guess and do something like this i'm just gonna keep it on one side for a start because we are going to well move it anyway so for now, at least, we'll keep it to one side. But we need five each on each side. And we need... Both of these will come from the left, right? we we'll bring this in somewhere. We make it into lime, and then we get this back. But both for this and this we need purified water, so we could make that in the middle. That seems okay. does it maybe it's easier to actually bring the sulfuric acid out in a pipe past machines than it is to bring belts of calcium sulfate in past these machines and past some purified water production i will just keep working i think And we can go in any direction, really. But this is an output, so I like the idea of having that at the front. But let's not. Let's have these at the front. So they output the sulfuric stuff here, sulfur dioxide or whatever it's called. Yes. And that is done from this. So this needs both purified water in and this out, and these need them on the same size. So I guess we will end up doing something like 
Really? No pipe? Dang it. But we will do it like that, I think, with just an extra strip step in the middle. Between them. Get me through. Something like this. It's probably fine. I think. This also allows us to bring this past however we want. And I guess this could just be full pipe. And we need seven on each side. Six, seven. Yes, good. So we need a solid in here. Do we want that in the middle? I think so. Something like this, and I guess we will have this here then. That doesn't really line up with this, but this can easily just go here instead if that's in the middle. Again, we are just, uh, well, designing and building and trying out stuff. <coughs> Uh, this needs to be long. Oh, these need to be long-handed. Why am I calling that long-handed? They need to be long. So how are we going to fix that? Could just bring this up one more tile, but I don't know how much space we actually will have to work with. So I guess we should get to the purified water production and see. So, so, actually we have a solid output of this as well, I forgot. And that needs to be brought past this, right? Into this stuff. So I think this should be the output, and it's actually... Well, it's the same, basically, as the input. It goes the same way. Hmm... less than a belt. We get a full belt of this in. We want one of them on the outside. Probably. Though I'm not sure why, because we could save belt by having the input in the middle and then the outputs on the sides like that. But then... Everything here gets a little bit more complicated, but this fixes our insert of problems, I think. Uh, except this needs to be output, and that's gonna be short. This is dedicated to this side, so we could have output here instead. Something like that. Input, output. So this comes in from here somewhere. And we have the same thing up here. Let's just keep that for now. And we will have the same thing. Yeah, just mirrored. Good. Your thing. So this should work with the input here. I'll here 
And we can merge these here or something. I think this will be okay with space because the purified water production will be quite wide, I think. So, so far, so good. And this is the lime then. We will bring that further, I think. Because we need the purified water here. Otherwise, we need to bring that past a lot of machines. Maybe that's okay. I think... No, because we need... The filters actually need to interact with these, and they are also just as big as the hydro plants, I think. Right? No, they're a little smaller. But it would be a lot of these to go past just with the purified water if we wanted to do that. Also these output and intake fluids as well. So I think we will make the purified water here. Mm. And yeah, these are all the, always so large and will change everything about the build. So maybe you should always just start with those. And water in is just the same thing as always. Something like that. This comes from here, so this doesn't need to go on, but we need this in. And this needs to be clarified. Let's have a look at how much we need to clarify. And because it's input based, we need a lot more water. So Hundred. No, we still need a lot more. My bad. So it keeps the three hundred that it's supposed to. M oh, it's because it's taking it from this, I guess. Those are not supposed to be linked. They're not. Wait, what? So when I say eight hundred input, why is it saying eleven hundred? Because we're. M well, we have 1100 here combined. Is that the reason? So even if I... No, oh, so it's just extra input, I guess. Because this is required anyway for anything to run here. It just doesn't want to do that one. Oh, did we get... No, that's from this, of course. Okay. What is the ratio here? 5 to 3.3? That's tough to calculate with, in my head at least. 1500, go. Still not enough, holy Christ. But this can of course be handled in few machines, so it's not really that bad. 2000. Now we actually get enough and extras, it seems. So we are starting to scale these things up. So this is why I don't like to go by input, I guess. This just sucks. Well, we know that we will produce 500 of this from everything. Except that we won't. No, we will. My bad. So if we just switch this around and say 500 of this. We can... Not matrix solve that? Hmm. Is it just because these are all the wrong way around? Get this in. That's correct. That's not used then.
Is there no way to order these that it considers it? Guess that from there, and it just outputs this then. So I can't get it to not output that even with the matrix solver. So maybe we should just put these in its own thing. But then I'm gonna forget it. Anyway, we know how much purified water we need, and that's really what. I need to know right now. So eight machines doing this. Yes. I feel like offsetting these a little bit for this. But maybe we can do something better if we didn't do this. How is this better though? It's not. It would be wider. What if we instead did something like this? This is the exact same size as if we did it the same old, a little bit more orderly way, like that. So that feels really stupid. I do want this to be in the middle though. So we will have to just make this a lot wider, that's okay. Something like this, I guess, to have this go through. Okay. Alternatively, we should just offset them to gain the one extra, no, the two extra spaces. Eh. Am I gonna hate that? I don't know, I hate this as well. We need to pure or clarifiers, only two, so that part is easy. And I'm not gonna design this top part yet. This is the absolute maximum amount of space that we will need. So we can move this closer by one file if we want to. If we have all this space, shouldn't we move the belts? At least one of the belts out here. Then we can save a tile or something in the middle. Or can we? If we move this out, it didn't have it doesn't have to be A uneven amount of tiles wide, maybe? Mm. I don't know what I'm talking about. I think I just need to keep designing stuff. So I can actually figure out what we need and what we don't. So four on each side of those, that's fine. I really want these to be included in the squeak through mod. That's probably not gonna happen. Good, so now we need to go back to the by input thingy, because otherwise we can't see the rest. Now we can ignore this. Yep. 30 in. What? 
Why are we scaled? Oh, because of this. Okay. That's fine, we'll get this from somewhere else. We have done this part. We have this in a belt. We have this transformed into this. Let's repin this, I guess. Call this done and this done. So they are, yes. This can go well, we don't want to mess with that right now. Good. So. We make these filters. Then we put them in air filters. Then they need to be washed, and then they need to go back into this. Except they're not really washed. They are... Whatever. Liquefied, apparently. You liquefy the lime stuff in it. Oh well. So I guess just having these three in a series is fine. Maybe we just put these next to each other because then we don't need their belt to go past all of these 45 machines, whatever. So let's start with this because we have a belt coming in for that specifically. Assembling machines, sure. And we're going to need eight of those. Good. And they really just need an input and an output. Two inputs, actually. Not sure where we will have the used filters yet. So maybe something like this, and then output far. Something like that. How many filters are we talking about here? 15 per second. Okay. Don't really need a lot in or out either, so that's fine, I think. Then we have spent fi or clean filters coming in and lime filters going out, or porous lime filters. The clean filters coming in comes from this, and we want right next to this, I think. Do we have some liquefiers? I don't think so. Unless I'm just blind. Nope. No liquefiers here, dang it. I think we need more, so let's just bring more. We also need more of these. Do we need more hydro plants? Sure. We have the 40 of these, or 50 ish. So let's stick with that. Do we have any more liquefiers? Don't see anymore, but 
I'm known to be blind. Why do we have robots in here? Whoops. I don't think we have any more liquefiers. Well, let's. It's 13, we need 14. I had one or something. No, I didn't have one. So I have exactly not enough. Though. Let's just get it designed anyway. And we need this as an output. We don't need any water in anything, that's fine. So we are just clarifying this, right? Or burning it. Otherwise we should bring it all the way back to our fluid bus. And I don't want to do that, so yes, we are just burning it. And that can just be done in two flare stacks, so that's no problem. Good to know. So, in here. This needs to run past all of this. We need to output to this belt, so maybe we need a belt in on the inside somewhere which means we can push all of this down to get the extra space i will just be designing first though so it's seven on each side two more and Wait, do i not have the recipe for this I don't believe that, cause then I wouldn't have the other recipes either, right? I think I'm just being stupid. So it's an acid gas. Okay, it's this one, yes. I just expected to see this icon as a product. Mm, so this all needs to be piped, basically. Which sucks for the output, but that just means we need more space or underground these, I guess. That's fine. Input, just like that. Okay, and we needed a flare stack. And that's fine. Good. So that's this part done, basically. This is the output, so we don't need to continue with that. And this is input for these. And this is output for those. Okay. And all of this should really be moved down, because we have at least down to here. Let's just move it down then. Am I going to move it the last tile? Then there's no option to try and optimize this afterwards. Really? Well, there is a possibility it's just I wouldn't want to move everything twice. I feel like we're just going here. That gives us quite a lot of space. We want to split this into two or should we move this part in still? 
maybe this is fine. Your thing, I think. Maybe we end up moving this as well when we actually get some air filters down. So the middle is still this. Let's just mark that a little bit. Air filter. Get liquids in and out of this. And we need to clarify the output. How about we actually move this all the way down then? Just to get the little bit extra speeds. And then I have that as an excuse to not optimize too much more on the rest of the build. So middle here, this really can go up to here, I guess. So this should probably just has had stayed in line with this, basically, but we'll see. Okay, let's actually get some of these down. So liquid input and output, water on the bottom. Clarifying stuff on the top. We also need both solids, inputs and outputs. But this can't really be there if we want it to be symmetrical. I'm just gonna mark that and that. Let's get some pipes down. This will not need a lot of water, right? No, 20 every six seconds. This amount in general just seems like we could do almost all of it with these, or with just one on each side, but we need five in total. So. This is output from these, this is input. So we need to output to here somehow. And we need to input here somehow. I think I'll just get one of these for each. It seems a lot simpler. This can go here then. And then we're fine. There's not a lot of throughput. Nope. I think that's all well and good. So it seems like this is unnecessarily complex with the builds. This is probably the best spot. If we just want as straight lines as possible. And then we still have the possibility to improve the space at that area if we wanted to. Let's just move this closer, because then it's almost ready. We need power down here as well. Then we just need 23 of these on each side. Seventeen and another six. And I'm out of build. Great. So 
So this is all filters. Good. We need to clarify this. But then I also think that we're just about done with all of the segments. And then we just need to align them a little bit better, maybe. So we have 300. That's actually just two of these, so one on each side. Good. And we need a large amount of filters for this. I think. Now, what would we want to actually change here? This is all fine. It can easily be mirrored. We could even keep it the filters on the same belt in here if we wanted to. Do we want to do that? Is it just a waste? Well, it's not a waste. It's actually cheaper to do it, but is it a waste of work? We would need to move this in two tiles, but that lines up nicely with this. So isn't that a good reason to do it? And we need to move all of this again just in just a second, so maybe I shouldn't do this yet. Maybe I should just put this, if I can find my cursor, right there. Is this needed anymore? No. Are we happy with this part then? I think so. It would have been a little bit better if this was on the other side of this. Maybe we should just do that. Though then we need to bring this patch to patch stuff, so I don't think we'll do that. Now this, we need to, to bring it one tile closer to there. I can also save up to two tiles. Well, actually, probably just one tile if we wanted to just offset these a little bit. Like this. We wouldn't be able to actually get the belt under everything in the middle then, so we would have to put that on the side. I don't think I like that a lot. So let's just be inefficient. I think. So there's no, no better place to put the clarifier, right? Not really. No, we keep it. We want to keep this like it is. The space in here really doesn't matter because this is all a lot smaller than other parts of this build, so I think so. Now, the problem is that I don't remember how much larger the other parts of this is than this. So we can't just put this right against here, of course. But this bottom corner of the build might just be the furthest down we need to go. I think I'll just leave some extra space at the end of this. Your thing. Let's just see here. That was not right. We need one more tile. So 
something like this, I think. Let's hope we're not also going to interfere with this or these pipes in general. Otherwise we need to move one more tile. This is supposed to go here, right? Yes. Good, because then the rest is actually smaller, so we shouldn't have any problems with the fluids, I don't think. I'm just curious, won't these pipes reach each other? Nope, never mind. Just looks so close with these, having three coming up like that. But never mind me. Good, so that's fine. Then these. This. Let's just finish that, just to make it weird. And then it is just this. And we need to move one belt out a little bit. This is input, this is input for those, out, in, out, in, out, and back in. So we need to finish the output here. And that's okay, let's just make sure that I'm not stuck with all of these machines. Do I have oh I guess some of the robots took some of those when we pulled it up. Which means they should be coming back with it, but who knows? We also need power here. We also need to just transfer power in general. I've really not done a very good job at that. We have no solids here. Can we we can reach with power out here. Not here, but here. Too bad. We want to save those power poles though, not really. I think that's it. Did I forget? Uh, yeah, I still have a, an input here that's not correct. My bad. And we need power for that. And we need long inserters. That should be okay. And I'm out of underground build. Great. Good thing we have a lot more. Of course, we could do a lot more underground build in this build in general. I'm also out of inserters. Good. 
those up, that should be fine. We burn this, that should be fine. All of this should be fine. Should we just test this before I start actually duplicating it and mirroring and stuff and then find out that it's all fucked? I will just take this. And put right here. Put on there. Oh, I need to put stuff in here, of course. Good. Are we not outputting? Oh, because I placed these all wrong. Why are they placed all wrong? Hmm. This doesn't really help, does it? So this can't reach where it was before. If we move it one closer, then we have a problem with the output. No, our input instead. That's not really better in any way. Also, we want this out. We need to remember that. I had totally not remembered that. Mm. How much throughput do we have here? Very little on the output at least, or what? One every two seconds, but multiplied by 2.25, so more than one per second. But I guess we can get away with this, otherwise we will just upgrade it. Let's go with that. So this is all in there. We got sulfuric acid out of it, that's all good. Did we get anything else out of this that we need to get rid of? I don't know. This all moves past. We still work, yes. We put 100 into each of those, so that's 400 on each side. Maybe that's too much, I don't know. But that works. Put those in there, that works. This stuff, it's burned. And we put the filters back on the line. And then we're just waiting for more lime, which is what we're trying to get rid of, so that is all good. But we have too little of that. Good. So there was something I said I needed to take care of. Well, power over here for one. I guess I really wanted it in here. That just makes the input awkward as well as the output. So we will just do it like always. 
There was something else, wasn't there? Oh, am I wrong? Probably just wrong. We'll underground this build a lot more if we wanted to. Oh, not that far though. And also underground these belts a lot more. Or eight filters we took that we shouldn't have. This is really not cost effective, but I just like the look of, look of it a lot more. And it saves the robots a little bit of time if we need them to place it at some point. I think I've said that a lot of times, but that's still why I'm just spending the extra time to do this. So I was talking about these builds, but does it matter? No, it was just this power that I was considering doing something about. Also these should just move in here now. And continue here I guess. Reach that's too bad. I wished I had placed them on this side because then they would be aligned with the bottom ones, but I am not gonna do that now. I'm too lazy. Waste one in there, that's fine. I think I'm happy with this enough at least that we are going to take it and mirror it for the full setup and get some filters into the top part and then call it done. And of course, I can't mirror it because there's fluids involved. This wouldn't work in a mirror, for example. Well, this transition between those two. So, we will have to figure something out about that. Oh, there's also the output of sulfuric acid here, of course. Can't do that.
this needs to get on from here somehow. But really it just comes here. I think. It's easily just here, so luckily we did the part where it's the most difficult first, I guess. And we need power. Just align those. Good. So, so far, so good, I think. Let's just get this close to the exit. So now we should also be able to take this. I think. Can you mirror all of this? Probably not. Because there's two outputs on these. And we can't just mirror this either. This should work, yes. That's clarified, this goes on. Clarified, this goes on, good. This is not Correct though. Good. Uh, this is correct, but that is not okay. Power to there. Please let me through. This can all be mirrored, and this can be mirrored, I think. No? With flare stack? No, of course, because that's not very symmetrical. There we go. Why am I confused? Because it's dark and hard to see. Something like that, yes. Why didn't I do this part? I'm not sure. I think I did it with the flare stack and that's why. this here reason okay on the bright side of all this we have plenty of space for robot stuff but I don't really want to put that in right now so let's just leave it we should have coverage of everything right actually no we don't do we have space for robopods? Yep. That just looked a little bit wrong, but that's because it's two different machines. I think we'll just do this. Then we know it's bridged to the next thing we build at least. Good. And we can bring calcium sulfide in here. Is that aligned? 
Yep. Awesome. And we need filters in the top side. One, two, three. Oh, dang. Four. Good. So I think this is finally done, except that we still need to bring this all the way. Not that we have a lot. And how many lines have we reserved here? One, possibly two, possibly three. Let's just leave the space. Great. That has been bugging me for a while that we didn't have a way to get rid of all that. Now we should be much better. We still need to make sure that we can actually get the sulfuric acid out into the system. Which means that we can't have this full at all times, from our other production at least. So from here, is this just a full output? It is. That needs to just top up. And that's fine, I think. We're not really backed up on anything right now, I don't think so. Let's leave it like that. Good. Then I think that's all we need for our Givolite crystals at least. Then we can go on to Protinium. Do we really? No, of course I couldn't find any more because we actually don't have any in the network. So I need to go grab more. That is the only thing. Okay. Good. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye.